What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dexter's back, y'all. Never thought that would happen, honestly. Dexter is back. Can't believe it. I, I'm I'm so excited. I'm very intrigued. And we've talked about this before, like on stream and stuff. If there was one show that we could wipe from our brains yeah. before we started the reaction channel, it'd be Dexter. Because I remember watching this show with you and just the constant panic of what the hell is about to happen. This show was so good at just like pushing the envelope in terms of like Dexter getting caught and Dude, things just like... the anxiety that you felt because... I mean, it's it, it's the constant conflict of he's he's bad, but he's good. Right. But you don't want to get him caught, but he's doing bad stuff. So, yeah. It, it, it's just one of those really crazy things. Even just, like, watching as many episodes as we can to get caught up. And I think we did a pretty good job. We watched a couple recaps and, and stuff, but watched a lot of season four. And even just watching that and knowing exactly how everything plays out, I, w I would feel my heart rate climbing. Just be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh like, you my, like, know what? he doesn't get caught in <laughs> that season, but you are, and yeah. you've seen everything already. Yeah. You it, know he doesn't get caught, but you're still fucking freaking out. Like, he's going to get caught. It's such an incredible show. And obviously, I think a lot of people were a little disappointed with how it wrapped. Yeah, and Me? I me. mean, I'm, I'm kind of a crazy person when it comes to this. I, I did definitely didn't want him to go live happily ever after with Hannah and Harrison. No. Me, personally, I kind of wanted him to get caught. Well, I mean, at least that would give you some... Like, real closure? Yeah. He's not just out there living his life without... His son. Yeah. F whatever. <laughs> I only care about Harrison. It, it's just one of those wild things where, like, obviously the whole situation with Deb was such a crazy and emotional ride. And I he always kind of... had a roller coaster. <sighs> yeah. I, I just always kind of wanted him to, you know, get busted and get kind of, you know, Bay Harbor Butcher, you know? Okay. I know, but... <laughs> Take care of that. I just... Poor Deb. Yeah. To be honest, Seriously. you know, she was just so, she was innocent and she was like such a good but, like officer. But damn, she had a good body mouth. Just mouths. what a f no, I'm actually not a fan of her body mouth. <laughs> Some of the stuff that she would say was so cringe. You're just like, can we not say dickwad, please? On live like, TV. <laughs> well, live TV. Wait, what? Well, she's doing press conferences. Well, cursing I don't. On live. I don't think she said dickwad. No, but, but like, no, hers are like it's not a natural flow of conversation. Yeah, I could see. That. I feel like my potty mouth of is course. a natural flow. We've had moderators. We've we've had this dis discussion in the mod chat. I feel like mine is more of a natural flow of conversation. I mean, Mine's like a real reaction to things. Hers is just like, insert cuss word here as obscure as you could make it. I mean, it's pretty, and it does make for a pretty uncomfortable moment sometimes. Yeah. But just regardless, like I've also never been a huge fan of like the whole redo idea, but under the right circumstances, as long as we're not like redconning anything and we've got the core of the character, and in this case, we got Dexter. Yeah. I, I'm really intrigued to see how this new Blood series is going to go and how things are going to kind of get re-wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Re-wrapped up? Yeah. Get it? Mm -hmm. By the way, R.I.P. Deb. That was just, I mean, Rita, yeah. Deb. I mean, there's a lot of, there were a lot of really, really interesting characters that yeah. passed on this show, but Dexter's back. You ready to check it out? Yes. Let's go. Mountain Man Dexter. Very curious to see what he's been up to all these years. Right. Like this he had a actor, massive beard yeah. in, in that last shot. Also. Um, this actor has been through a lot since Dexter. I mean, throughout Dexter. I mean... Song about his passenger. I don't wanna. He spared the deer. Thank you. He's a mountain man, huh? Where's my friends? Oh, and chickens. And pigs. <gasps> 
That's what Elmo used to look like. I that's what my pig looked like. An ice shanty and everything. Do some ice fishing. It's a nice place. It is. It's on the floor. Wait, what? Are you ready for tonight? Oh, is he having great visions of dad? You say so. Did she replace dad? It's real cold today. Right? You're the one that picked this place. Oh, that's sad. But kind of cool. Yeah. And to think that they were married in real life. <laughs> were. That is so crazy. I mean, he's crazy, but... He's still got the tools? No, not the same <laughs> kind. It's a different set of tools. That knife, that, that one knife right there on the left looked kind of familiar. It does, it does, actually. Oh, they had the episode title on the snow. That was I cool. I love that. The cold snap. Cold snap as in like, he's going to like lose it type of snap? No, I think like cold, something is frozen and then you break it, it snaps. What name is he going by now? Can he still go by Dexter Morgan? I don't think so because he was reported dead. Maybe he brought back Kyle Butler. <laughs> License and registration, please. There you go. Yeah. James Lindsay, huh? Jim, is there a problem, officer? Can we not reach for the knives while you're... <clears throat> She's Turn around. Really too. Hands on the truck. What is happening right now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So he's got a new girlfriend. Coming line dancing tonight? Yeah, I wouldn't miss it, Pastor Brian. Hey, I'm sorry about those pies. Morning, Zach. Morning, Mr. Lindsay. Becca, Scott. Hey, Lindsay. You coming to the match next week? I'm sure gonna try. Go Hawks. Seems like he's a little more outgoing now. <laughs> Hey, Gig. You got my stuff. There you go. Your lifesaver, Jimmy. Oh, oh this is his store. Oh, well. It works. Where it works. Yeah. yeah. Please tell me you have a strawberry cream cheese sweet roll in there. The boss speaketh, and so it shall be done. I don't know what I would do without you, Jim. Mmm. Oh. oh, it's so good. I can't handle the goody two shoes. I just rolled into town with my posse, gonna do a little hunting, gonna need a new knife and a big ass gun. All right. This one's perfect. <laughs> hey! Dude. I kind of have a thing about blood. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Remington 783 will do the job. My friend Bill over there, yeah. he's already got that one. And I want a gun that's going to make his one look like a super soaker. My gun is bigger than yours. I want that one. You sure? It's going to set you back $9,000. I got a nice Christmas bonus at Morgan Stanley. Really? You know, this is way more firepower than anything you need hunting around here. Yeah, I'll take it. Just gonna need some ID for the federal background check. Dude, really? 
Yes, motherfucker. <laughs> My dad, he bought me my first rifle in this very store when I was 10. It happens sometimes. It's just a 24-hour hold while the FBI checks on your record. Same time tomorrow. Dude, just sell me the gun. I gotta follow procedure. You know, you break a rule, sometimes you might even have a little fun. Dude, no, thank you. Be careful. You don't know who you're talking to, buddy. Now he's gonna be curious. He handled him very well. I wouldn't have been able to. I've been like, seriously, man? Can you not? Do you think he's still been... I don't know. ...doing his thing? Or has he put the his little passenger away? Well, it's really hard to do things in a small town, though, because it's like people are going to notice when other people have gone missing. Right. Logan, you've known Matt since forever. What do you think he could have done to flag the FBI on a gun background check? He tried to buy a rifle at Fred's. I'm sure it's just a formality. Matt Call was a good guy, kicking some major ass on Wall Street. I mean, he likes to hang, drink, gamble, fight or two in high school, but no, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's definitely I bet it was that curious. boat crash out in Ohio. No, no way. Matt wasn't even driving. Five people died. What? That whole thing was just a really tragic accident. In fact, I bet his record is spotless. Okay, maybe a few spots. <laughs> is there any progress on putting up that stop sign over by Lewis's package store? He's trying to change the subject. No body, no pattern, no case. And no funding until one of these women turns up dead. Dexter Morgan line dancing, huh? This is weird. <laughs> All right, get it though. I mean, it is definitely odd seeing him so happy and smiley and, and involved. Like, yeah. Good for him though. I, I know, yeah, good for him. Until one of these asshole outsiders <laughs> like That's triggers him. Stupid. I was thinking, why don't we get out of here? You could open up your shop, give me that rifle. My guys and I, we want to go hunting in the morning. If your background check clears, you can come and pick it up at the store in the morning. I'm sure your buds are going to be really impressed with the size of your gun. <laughs> <laughs> this Eagle Scout loves his rules. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you come to the party anyway? Maybe you'll even enjoy yourself. Really? Dude, Dude's uh, an idiot. Ain't nobody want to come to your party, bro. <laughs> uh, it's my smart doorbell. I just got way too many kids over. Aren't you glad they didn't have these things when we were younger? You better believe it. <laughs> Time yeah. to be a mom. <laughs> Even when you're off the clock, you're on the clock. It's almost like a reversal, because that's what he, he would always do. Right. He'd always have to leave and go handle things. And... Yep. I have the feeling oh, you're hey, being watched. <laughs> and I have a feeling you're letting this map prick get to you, brother. It's been almost ten years. And hot sauce. Stick to your routine. Routine, routine, routine. I mean, routines are everything. Save the planet! Really is uh, I'm sorry? Who the hell? Actually, I just need a signature, then I'm out of here. You know what they call me? Bill? Dickface. Oh. Because of the scar. I never should have gotten on that fucking boat. He's what? talking about that accident? I told Matt to stop. What do you mean you told Matt? He wasn't driving. Right. I, I covered for him, man. I lied at my trial so, so that he could go free and, and, and bang my girlfriends. And why didn't he stop? Because he was playing chicken. That was wasted. He hated that guy. Lost half a mil in some deal because of him. The other guy gave up, turned the boat away, totally yielded, and Matt just drove right fucking into him anyway. Jesus. Yeah, this guy's a fucking asshole. Why are you friends with this fucking guy then? This all stays between us, huh? You're looking at the guy where secrets go to die. Just need a signature. Oh. I 
don't like any of this. Um, <laughs> he did not really just do that. He did, right? Jim? <laughs> Thanks for shopping at Fred's Fish and Game. Oh, I wish you would have done it though. I really kind of wish you would have done it. After all these years, this is the guy that's going to trigger him? Well, he's a douche, dude. Ten years, he said. Or as Deb would put it, he's a dickwad. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Are, are you Dexter Morgan? It's me, Harrison. What? <gasps> Harrison. You can't. Everyone close to you dies. That's why we're here. I don't know who you're talking about. But you look just like I remember. Just have one of those faces, I guess. If you don't want me, fucking say it. Dokes, Laguerta, Rita. Me? You see a shirt Sorry, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Whatever you decide, I'm not gonna report you or anything. You seem like a good kid. The next bus out of town is uh, tomorrow night. It's 7.45. I hope you find whoever you're looking for. This sucks. How did he find him? I don't know, but that just sucks. <sighs> that was emotional. He did the right thing. He'll be safer with Hannah. I mean, I get it. It just sucks. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my God! I'm glad I went first, Dexter. I hate to see you like this. If you had died first, I would have been lost in the world without you. You're a changed man. Almost 10 years without a kill. And I love you for it. Dude, this is insane. This is. I have a bad feeling that I'm thinking about and it involves Matt and a gun. Like, is Matt gonna come in and, like, kill this animal? I feel like that too. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, please. I almost tagged you, dude. Check this out. You see what I did there, uh, Jim? <laughs> he did it for real that time. You think? Oh, he did. It's been a long time. But if I'm gonna do this, I need to do it right. First rule of the code. <laughs> Don't get caught. <laughs> oh shit. What are you gonna do with it after though? Yeah, you don't have a... I mean, you have an ice lake. That's true. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, he's got to get his slides. The 
Let's talk about what you did. You mean the deer? He didn't do anything wrong. He was perfect. He didn't deserve that. Not as bad as that was, it's not the worst thing you've done. You're fucking crazy, man. Arguably, but not the point. Then what is? <laughs> Tell me what you did! <laughs> oh, shit. Or. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh at that part. Or I'll fucking kill you. You're just gonna fucking execute me or some shit like that? Wouldn't be the first time. You think you can get away with that? Yeah. Again, not the first time. You're a serial killer? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was. It's not so much that I was. It's that I am. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is so this is about the boat, right? The part where five people died because of you. All right, all right. I was wrong. Please, please. You shot my deer! And you almost killed me! Wait, 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 you don't understand, it's not my fault. My mom died when I was eight. My dad, he was never around, he was always working. I had a sh shitty childhood, okay? You blaming this on bad parenting? It's true, it's not my fault, okay? You know, I lost both my parents when I was young, too. I wouldn't have had any direction if it wasn't for Harry. But then you understand, you get it? So you're not gonna kill me. I can't let him go now. Past the point of no return on that one. Yeah. I can't reveal all that information to you and let you go walking out. <laughs> Sorry, Fuck buddy. you, man. Oh, okay. You're gonna go that My way. dad, he is going to destroy you. He knows everybody in this town. They love him. He is going to find you. And he is going to rain down a world of pain on you, man. You have no idea what you're doing. Life is short, dude. Oh. He's back. Tonight's the night. Hello, Dexter Morgan. That music. I know. He always talked about, well, how it was like his addiction. I don't need trophies anymore. I may be a monster, but I'm an evolving monster. What to do with you? Not exactly Miami Bay, but it does have a hole in it. He's, he is. He's gonna do that. What the fuck are you doing? Not listening to you. Is Harry gonna show up? <sighs> this is intense. You know, after Miami, you can never get used to this damn cold. I thought you didn't know me. You were right. I'm Dexter Morgan, your father. Come home, please. How is this gonna work? I'm still very curious about how he found him. Yeah, me too. Because if he could find him, Right? Who else? My did? father protected me, taught me, kept me alive. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for my son. But it's like, he's not Dexter there. He can't reveal that info, right? Uh-oh. Was he sloppy? Did he actually leave some stuff behind? I would, I mean, make it seem like that. Is it that or the deer? Is it, is it going to end up being deer blood? Because he didn't, you know he didn't just leave. As much as I don't He's like it. Ten years out of practice, he might. Okay, but <laughs> you don't just leave a deer there and not oh, use it for food. Right. You know, when you live out in the middle of nowhere, you, you still need food regardless of how you get it. It just... Yeah. I thought that was a good start. That was a good start. I thought that that they did a good job of kind of showing us who he is now, what kind of life he's running, what kind of routine he's got, and just the fact that, I mean, it, obviously the show is here for a reason, that one asshole coming into town yeah. triggered him after 10 years. Yeah. I will like, I got a couple moments of just kind of, like, chills from, like, kind of nostalgia kind of feelings. Yeah. Like, when Deb showed up and was talking to it, like, at the very beginning, and they were, like, yeah. just hanging out. And she's replaced Harry now, and 
has been keeping him on like the track of no death and no kills. Right, and... because Harry was like, it's all about the code, but right. would, you know, guide him through a kill. Right. Deb is like, mm -mm, we don't do that anymore. Which makes me wonder if Harry's going to pop back up now. Yeah. Now that we've got the voice back, the inner monologue is talking again. That's like one of my favorite Dark things. Passenger. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite things in Dexter is those inner conversations that he's having with himself. It's just so good. And it this feels like like obviously he's navigated a shit ton of challenging situations before. Right. I feel like this is going to be on another level just because of how small this town is. And I mean, how many how many options is he going to have in terms of disposing this body in a place that no one's going to find it? Dude, in the in the well, what happens when it warms up? I don't. I, I it's a lot. I'm not. I've never done this before, so I couldn't tell you. But it's like the the fact that it's such a small town, and this dude is so well known within this like, like well, his dad, but like he came in hot. Yeah. And he came in real hot. It's it's almost like anybody who had an interaction with him would be a suspect because the town's so small. Well, and he's such a giant dude. Yeah. Like... Which, I mean, that could kind of just raise the kind of be like, all right, well, who'd he piss off kind of thing. Um, Literally everyone. Yeah. and Literally. You knew the moment that he went in to buy the gun and the FBI had the pause on his account to buy the gun. You knew those... Little things were kind of tingling in Dexter's head. Yeah. Just being like, like he's why? He's a bad person. Why has he got a hold? I feel like the hold is still there. And I feel like the owner of the gun shop just let it go through. You think so? I just do. for a favor? Does that mean the FBI is going to get involved with this missing person? <laughs> when I it, mean. When it gets there? <laughs> I mean. Shit. Maybe. I mean, he sounded like a big deal. In terms of, like, his world and his job, despite being a giant tool bag. I bet you he's not. I bet you, you daddy bought all, You everything. think it was all front? Daddy it's bought possible. him everything, including his, probably his job. Which tells me that daddy's going to want to find out what the fuck happened to his kid. Or he's not. Or he hates his kid. Cause it sounds a lot like, you're in my way. Yeah. I I liked it a lot. It's... It's been very nice catching up on Dexter and right? having some new Dexter content. Like I didn't realize how much I missed it. Like it's so, it's just it's so unique. Good. Like I think it started in two thousand six and then it ended in two thousand thirteen. Something like that, I think so. Yeah, I had my first baby in twenty twelve. It's like, it's, you know, it's kind of like it got us through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I kind of stole Dexter from Nikki. Yeah, right about season four or five, six. I want to say I was like, I stole it. I don't like the fact that you like this as much as you do. This is my show. <laughs> like I binge it on my own, and he was like, "No, wait for me before we watch another episode." I'm like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I hijacked it. Yeah, so then I had to wait for him to yeah. watch stuff. I'm like, you know what? You just watch. I don't. Yeah. I don't care about it anymore. So. But it is one of those things where it's probably one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah. And it's just one of those things where it's been so out of sight, out of mind. And then when they're like, oh, we're bringing it back. And then you go and watch some of the old, like the early seasons were so good. So good. And there's just something Dude, special. Season two. Season two. Yeah. I season mean. Season two and season four. I feel like one through five yeah we're all really awesome and then things kind of got started going a little sideways but but still like there's just something about dexter morgan and just the way his mannerisms are the inner monologue the conversations just how precise he is with everything he's just such an interesting and unique character and he's like legitimately doing horrible things and we're like watch out don't do that! Like, Don't get caught, you he's stupid! A, the show has found ways to root for a freaking serial killer. Well, I mean, and, the, you know... He kills only bad people, that's the code. Uh, what was his name, Michael C. Hall? Like, yeah. the actual person himself, what he has gone through 
through the entire Dexter series yeah. with his health, his marriage. Like, he's been through a lot. It's so, good to have it back. I love it. It's good to have it back. I'm very intrigued to see kind of what the next steps are, especially his girlfriend's a, a police officer, and they've already shown us that they have trouble finding. There's little missing persons in the office, so... Yeah. And they don't obviously have a, a big staff because it's a very small town. I mean, they're, this invest feels like it's they're turn... investigating stolen pies from exactly. the church potluck. So. I feel like this is going to turn into a big deal and it's going to be a lot bigger than what they could handle. Right. Because missing person, This is gonna... if the dad is like hardcore about it, they're going to want to find him. Dude, this is, I bet you it's got FBI in it. It's going to get I bet involved. You. Yeah. We're going to hear Frank Lundy again. No, he's. <laughs> I know he is, but uh, you know he's got friends who were in the FBI even back then. But yeah. yeah, it's just wild. Ten years, no kills, and he had his morning ritual. He'd go on his run and go see his deer, and this asshole fucking shot the deer. Almost killed him too. Yeah. Can you not? Can you literally just not? literally triggered him and brought him back to the whole thing with Harrison too. That, like, that was very emotional when, like, I, for some reason, it probably should have felt obvious the person watching him was his son. I know, but there's but supposed it's to like, be, like, what, what was Argentina? It? Argentina, yeah, with Hannah. Yeah. And I... Where's Hannah? It just felt like one of those things where, like, I'm very curious about how he found him. How do you track Dexter Morgan, who was supposed to have died on a boating accident, to who he is now and where he's living. That just seems like he's done a lot of very deep investigation work. And again, if he could find him, like who else is going to be able to find him? So I don't know. That whole situation was, it, it was emotional. The whole idea of having to like reject his son like that at the first time. And then going back and being like, no, I am. But again, how do you explain this? And also, how do you explain... Yeah, by the way, you can't call me Dexter Morgan. My name is James Lindsay. Yeah. It, it it almost kind of feels like when Harrison was born and he brought in too much and kind of overwhelmed his life with stuff, I feel like he's kind of already taken those steps. Day one back on the kill spree, he's like brought his son back in and he's going to complicate things and make it hard for himself. Yeah. But regardless... Feels good to have Dexter back. Do you have any other thoughts on that episode? Nope. All right, y'all. Leave your comments down below. We will catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.